Hello there, I'm Tanya Windegger and I have complex post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, reclaiming my life was a very long process and it was a very hard one. And I was so stuck in the past and I so believed all the things they told me. I, I totally believed it was all true about myself. The, the way they saw me, I thought that was who I am. And it was so real for me in, in the present moment, even knowing those things were happening like 30 years ago, it still felt it was like right here, right now. I could hear and sense and feel and see it all still. And if that's where you're at right now, that you're so still living it, you need a therapist or a psychiatrist to help you um, talk through this and, and hook yourself from those beliefs. And it was initially much easier to um, question my psychiatrist's beliefs and, and, and values than the beliefs from the people in the, in, in the past that were put on me. So, But now I know that they, they're not my own beliefs. As a child I was not, you know, we, didn't, we, didn't, we weren't developed enough, our, we didn't have to, our brain didn't have the capacity to actually um, question those beliefs or question, we didn't really understand what was going on. But now as an adult, you, we, we know, we can make choices, we can question those beliefs. And we, those beliefs belong in the past. They do not belong with us right here, right now. We can choose now to be the person that we want to be. We can choose to feel what we want to feel and, and live the life that we want to. So every time, you know, those thoughts still come up and they still hook me. <laughs> but I'm much better now at um, untangling myself and putting these um, beliefs in the past where they belong with those people. They do not serve me right now and they do not serve you either. And I wish I could send you all and hook us and untangle us so you can be free. It's such an amazing feeling to be free and to be able to make your own choices, who you want to be, the life that you want to live. Make the choices and what kind of people you want to have in your life and what kind of relationships you want to have. Now every time a thought pops up now or I have a belief popping up, I can question it. It's like, is this thought right now really helping me to live the life I want to live? Is it helping me to have those friendships that I want and those caring and loving relationships? Is the belief I have about the world or the people in it, is this really helping me to live a fulfilling um, life and reach my dreams so I, I can do this now and it and it's it's such an amazing feeling to be free and it was a really really long process for me to to let those beliefs go and come make my own beliefs and have my own values values now so I'm really looking forward to reading your comments on how did you change your beliefs you know what do you choose or who do you choose to be now and what are you f with that new focus and uh, meaning in your life that gives you so much more strength and resilience and determination to focus on the here and now and choose where you want to go and be more in control of, of your situation of your life and and where you're at. So I'm so looking forward to reading your comments and thoughts about that. So bye for now.